In the next 30 minutes, you'll hear these rare gems plus other super souvenirs from radio's world of commercials. See how many you can remember. I'll bet you'll be surprised and delighted. So stay tuned for a few golden words from our sponsors. How's everybody doing today? It's good to be back. It is good to be back. Looking good here. I watch uh, streams sometimes. And people always have this like little um, thing at the beginning where they've got music playing and it's like the stream is starting in three minutes I don't do that we just dive right on in <laughs> that's how I am with most things I do happy treason days to the colonies that's right today is the 4th of July most of the time we celebrate by blowing things up with explosives as we Americans do but in the the place and county I'm living, they they banned the fireworks. You were watching another stream. You were like, "What's this music?" Turned out it was me. <laughs> so yeah, it is the Fourth of July today, and I will not be celebrating with fireworks. I will be celebrating with, uh, I don't know, streaming with you guys. I guess, huh? <laughs> like to return to the classics. This is the second stream fully on Linux. I used to stream with the Lenovo Legion, but it was running Windows and I used Elgato. But uh, I got stuff figured out and now I'm on Solus and I'm using a QGEEM capture device. You got a barbecue on the docket. That's a good plan. It's, it's still too hot out here to try to barbecue. If you guys remember, I canceled last week because it was like mid-40s Celsius. Like, it was, it was completely out of control. And it's still too, it's still too hot. It's not, not as bad, but it's still pretty hot. Um, yeah, so we're going we're gonna to dive into this. This stream is going to be a little bit weird because um, if, you, if you follow me on Twitter and you saw... I, I post these stories from time to time. They're really fun to do. And I, I posted a story yesterday, and it was a screenshot of <laughs> Pop! OS. I had installed it, and I took the screenshot for the thumbnail, and now it doesn't work. I cannot get this to install. So we're going we're gonna to troubleshoot this a little bit, and if, if I can't get it to install, we're going to do the old live session review, which I've done before. Not quite as comprehensive, but I said we were doing Pop! OS, and that's what we're going to do. So there you go. Failed to flush random seed, and it can't load the bootloader or something. I'm not actually sure what that is. So we're going to try to install it again. There are a couple things in the installer that I want to show you I think is really cool. But we'll do we'll do our best. What's the temperature today? Um, I don't know. Oh crap! I've got notes today. You can hear the papers rustling of papers. I went back to the paper notes. I flip flop all the time. Sometimes I I keep my notes in a browser. Other times I uh, put them on notes. I, I like I like paper notes. I need to get some sticky notes. Do you have secure boot enabled? That's a great question, and those are the questions I hope to uh, figure out. I do not have it enabled. I have it turned off. Um, I tried it with TPM on and off. It's so strange because I got it to install once, one time, and I was like, hey, I think that I had flipped a bit in the BIOS, 
and I installed it and I was like, oh, that must have been it. So I moved on. I took a screenshot and moved on. And then I come back this morning and I'm like, okay, let's make sure it all works before the stream. And nothing worked. <laughs> oh, I have a gift of, of QA testing, I guess. I can, I can make even the most solid software break. It looks like a weird, yeah, and I, I tried different partition tables, like, we, we can, we can try things. Why does your brain mess up words? Hey, my brain messes up words all the time. People that know me, that, that, that I, can, I engage with on a regular basis, they just learn to translate EGEs <laughs> into English or whatever language we're speaking. You should have chosen another distro. Well, I chose Pop because we've tried Pop two different times, and one of the times I wanted to show you guys the Cosmic Desktop, but I was running really low spec hardware, and it just it didn't didn't work out. So I promised Cosmic like a month ago, and I'm, I'm going to show you Pop, and I'm going to show you Cosmic. Something I will say uh, about my my streaming setup here. I don't know what it is between Windows and Linux, but I, I felt like whenever I streamed on Windows, I felt like I was I was always, frankly, not convinced QA is the best on Pop. I mean, I, I feel that way too, to be quite honest with you. I've, I haven't had the best luck reviewing Pop, but the thing is a lot of people like it and they do some cool stuff. So I, I like to give them a little coverage, but it seems like whenever I try to do anything with it it just like falls apart at the seams and i mean we've had we've you know i've tested a lot of distros so it's not it's not my hardware it's you know it's not it could be this this case it could be hardware but um anyways so on on windows i always felt like i was fighting with my audio because it was hard to, i couldn't monitor it with my ears it was it was just weird but over on linux generally speaking audio is inferior on linux unless you're doing something with with um jack and i don't want to do i don't want to work with jack but what i'm hearing in my ears right now is the same level as you guys are hearing so i can i can like it's just a it, it makes it allows me to mix the audio way better and i i appreciate that i hate worrying about my audio put a lot of work into the audio here anyway so uh, so yeah what's the installer i believe that pop os's installer is like a, a homebrew custom thing uh does elementary os use this i don't i don't remember pop os 21.4 is a mess oh is that true somebody in our discord posted a really slick picture of pop os actually so i thought i thought it was solid uh, for what it's worth you're looking at cosmic this is Cosmic Desktop. So if I can't get it to install, then we'll um, we'll try something else. Um, we'll do it live. I mean, uh, Happy Fourth. Thank you. Are you still liking MX? Uh, MX was just the just for the review. I'm I'm not using it regularly though. I need a computer in in my garage. I need like a shop computer to look stuff up. And uh, if, if you if you ever work on machinery, cars, whatever you get really dirty, you know? And uh, sometimes it's just not convenient to like clean up every single time you get dirty because you get dirty constantly. I did like a brake job yesterday and uh, having to like wash my hands every time I touch my phone got really obnoxious. So I need a shop computer, which is a computer that basically just serves up a web pages for, you know, documentation for working on stuff, but also can get as dirty as it needs to. It doesn't need to be clean. And uh, that's what I'm going to repurpose the Zotac for. If you guys remember the terribly low spec Zotac box that I have that we've tried to do episodes on but have failed because it is so low spec. Thinking about putting MX or Peppermint on there and turning that into a shop computer. I'm leaning towards Peppermint for that, but I could do MX too. Anyway. Okay, so we could try demo mode, which we may end up doing. We're gonna do a fresh install. Oh, this was something I wanted to show you guys. Something that Pop! OS has done for a few releases now that is super awesome. <clears throat> isn't, isn't Peppermint dead? Um, I thought that it was still supported at least a little bit. 
Maybe we'll end up going MX. I don't I don't want to hop onto a unsupported distro. Hey Blackworm. So uh Pop OS has had a, a really cool and robust like um recovery thing built in. And uh I don't remember ever seeing this refresh install. But um you can you can recover at least part of your your OS from the installer, and then once you get it installed, there's like a recovery partition, somewhat similar to the way Windows has their recovery partition, and you can boot into that, and it's basically a live session. It's cool, it's good stuff, but I'm glad it showed up here. Um, you know you know what I haven't done? I have never used the custom. And let's let's do that next. Let's just try a clean install. The first probably half hour to. 60 minutes of this stream is going to be me trying to install this thing. I've got one drive. By the way, this album that's playing is Young Bay, or it's Young Bay, but um, it's Bay 5, which is excellent album. I played this on the last Distro Delve stream a couple weeks ago. And this, this song that's playing right here is the top single, so you're probably going to like it. It's good. This is a really good album. I've got a lot of good tunes in store for you guys today. Anyone having troubles with pop install should try offline. I mean, I'm offline now. Well, on the flip side, maybe I should go online. Maybe that's the trouble. I haven't tried that. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. So, um, for folks unfamiliar with Pop, one of Pop OS's claims to fame is that uh, it encrypts by default. You have to opt out or specifically say don't encrypt, not to encrypt your install. So, that's cool if you like it. I'm going to set the encryption password to the same as my account password, and off we go. Unplug the internet cable. This one doesn't have internet cable. Oh my gosh, tax action. You can't install it either? Okay. This makes me feel way better because I I thought that it was me, basically. You know? Like, when I want to break something and I can do it, I'm happy. But I'm trying to stream. I'm trying to put on a show for you guys. I don't want this thing to just, like, nosedive every time I try. <laughs> and the installer crashed? Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, well... Does anybody have any success stories of getting this thing installed? Man, this is a good one. I was Johan. I was thinking about upgrading from twenty point four, but uh, that would, that's what we kind of did last stream, and it just took too long. I don't have twenty point four downloaded right now. <clears throat> You installed it on a virtual box about two hours ago? Okay. <laughs> the drunken alcoholic just shouted at me. Okay, so that's one success. I'll take it. What's the peppermint story? I believe that the lead developer or founder passed away. So there was questions whether or not the community was going to keep it afloat. Virtual box won't be using EFI. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's try it like this. What do you think of all that missing firmware? Is that something I should be concerned with? You see all that? It doesn't look good, but... More missing firmware. It looks like the same thing. Missing firmware is common. Okay. Can you set up VirtualBox? Or can, can you set up EFI? You had EFI enabled? Okay, interesting. Weird things that Linux Mint wasn't running on your website. Okay, here we go. I think that's the reason why there's not many video, videos on YouTube. Probably runs well in 76 hardware. Um, yeah, I'm sure that it, it runs perfectly fine on their hardware. So I'm just going to skim through this and see if I 
like there are any errors or anything. It looks fine. I don't see anything but like infos. Actually, did it loop? Is this the same? ESP partition one, is this zero? This looped, it seems. That's not a good sign. Or I don't think it is. Maybe it's fine, I don't know. There was like two boot entries, I think. All right, let's give it a shot. Hey, Drishel. Dimmerish, you're a pop fanboy, you're gonna love this. Oh, did not work. Dunzo. Let's take a look at the BIOS since since you guys are here and um, maybe you can point something out. So let, for the record, that didn't work. That install did not work. You like the slow music? I'm talking real fast and music is going. Try enabling UEFI. Hey, we're cynical. Try 20.4. I'd have to download it and then, I mean, we can, we can get it downloading. One drive, three keyboards. I don't think I have three keyboards. All right, let me get 20.4 downloading, I guess. Did you guys listen to the music? All right, it's downloading. I need my thing back though. Ah. I'll have you guys know that uh, I am still on Solus, and I am running GNOME 40. Bark, bark. More like, which is what Ghost does. What I should do too. Yeah, this is a Ryzen 7. So you screenshotted the error. It's failing to find VM Linux EFI. Right. So if we go to advanced, I have it set on other OS. Poop OS, come on now. I've got um, TPM turned off. What's your favorite GTK and cute theme? Hmm. I think my favorite cute theme is Q Ogre. Q. Is it Q O I or Q I O? I'm not sure. But that's. I'm pretty sure that's my favorite. It's very Windows like and it's solid. And. As far as GTK, I don't know if I have one. Honestly, Adwadia is pretty good. I don't mind it. It seems that my hardware is Windows 11 compatible. I guess so. Should I do anything with this? No more Budgie. But dude, Budgie is buggy. It has not aged well. Also, it's not, Budgie is kind of painful for a single, or for dual monitors. One monitor, Budgie is really good. But if you have two monitors, it's it's frustrating because um, window panels and stuff can only be on one one monitor. It's just weird. You don't think this is a BIOS related issue? Okay, let's bail out then. Let's let's try a custom install. That's one thing I haven't done. I got my coffee. It looks like something didn't get put into the EFI partition. I'm telling you, man, it happened. It worked one time. So it, it happened like it worked once. So I, I know that it can't. Oh, did it lock up? Yeah, it locks up here sometimes. Damn it. Just a second. Shouldn't it look for the EFI unit, the BIOS entries? It should. Oops, sorry about that. Great channel. Watching it made you go to Linux. Well, thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, I don't have any any jokes queued up. My sincere apologies. Um, what do you call an alligator wearing a vest? An investigator. Is it going to lock up again? There we go. See, it doesn't always lock up here. Very strange. Um, let's, what's that other one with the wind? Um, why did the Karen, why did Karen want to talk to the, why did Karen want to talk to the 
window manager. No. How did, I don't remember how that joke goes. Why did Karen... Oh, wait, I think that's the end of the album. Hold on. Oh, actually. Yeah, I'll let you guys listen to that. That's a good song. Um, I think that that's a real. Is that Brazil? Yeah, it is Brazil. There you go. Yeah, I appreciate that. This is another Young Bay song he did with, um, who are these guys? MC Virgins. It's kind of a goof. Why did Karen install Waylon? Because she wanted to see the window manager. It also looks like you have UEFI relief. Should I uh, partition the drive or uh, format the drive? Hello. Okay. Not the shop. No, no, no. We want to install. Get out of here. Oh, Johan, I like that your PFP is uh, pop. Clean install. Okay, let's do a custom install. Let's do this. Uh, modify partitions. Oh, who is this? Look, it's G parted. Why does the boot screen say? Uh, because the boot screen is drunk. I have no idea what it's talking about. Hey, Mitchell, you like that? Like that joke? Okay, I gotta, I gotta figure out what I'm doing here. Uh, let's let's bail out. Actually, yes, try demo mode. Do this the other way. This is a horrible rap. That's why I like it. Uh, disc? G parted. That's what I was looking for. I'm typing and talking. Let's switch to. Let's do that. I've been meaning to put together a jazz hop playlist, but... Oh, actually, um, hmm. I did put together another playlist, but I don't know how it's going to sound, and I'm going to wait till later in the stream to play it, because I don't know how well it's going to work out. And we'll bail out. No, let's uh, do the partition table. Is currently active. Who's active? Swap is? Really? It just grabbed a swap? That was weird. Okay. Uh, we have to commit that. Yeah, sure. Okay. Not a partition. We want a partition table. Okay. So, why is sysadmins in chat? Should I use MS-DOS or should I use GPT? Or is that GUID partition table or something? Which one should I use? Did I try BTRFS? Uh, no, it's not meant, it, I mean, it, it might work, but you moved your SSD over to pop, you've been happy. Hey Ace, how's it going? Jazz is nice on a Sunday afternoon. GPT, okay. So we got GPT. All right, and that's done. Let's try to install this guy. The new pop, yeah, Ace. Hey, so we've been having a hard time with this. It won't install. Man, I like this song. Yeah, you have EFI enabled. Okay. Oh wow, it took me. That's right, it did. Okay. So we need partition number one. Five twelve. I hate that you have to click and hold. That's different. I don't like it. Oh, now I don't have to hold. Weird. Um, EX fat. I guess we could just do fat 30. Where is fat? Oh, I'm blind. It probably doesn't have EX fat support. Um, label. Is it the label that you call? I don't think I've done this by hand before. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Don't you mark this as, um, isn't there like a label you give it or something? 
life at 32. I don't know, that's just what I've done. Manage flags, is this it? Microsoft data? Slash EFI. ESP? What did I miss? Format 2. Yeah, that the EFI partition can be anything, right? Hi, bro. Hello, bro. Do you need help? I, I've never done this by hand before, is the thing. Usually, uh, installers like Calamares or whatever does it. Fat sucks. Use um, EX Fat or uh, yeah. All right. So 512 EX4 partition name label EFI partition. It needs to be FAT32 or FAT23. <laughs> Let me see if there's a FAT23 in here. All right, we'll stick with FAT32. The EFI partition should be FAT32, okay. You've been playing around with Reborn OS? You use FAT32, okay. Um, ESP boot flags, yeah, let's do that. I'm disappointed that the Pop! OS installer doesn't, doesn't have a helper for this. Like, for such an advanced uh, installer, it's weird that it doesn't do this. All right, so we want ESP. Yep, there we go. And then the label. Oh, you create it with a label? Son of a gun. Ah. Uh, man, you really, you really have to know what you're doing, which I do not. Okay. We create a new partition, FAT32. 512 and the label is slash EFI why not do a um, think so. on the other install mode it practically guides your, guides your hand you mean the, the guide the regular one I that doesn't work though we tried that it, it creates two partitions one for if you go advanced distro helps calamares yeah all right, let's do this. Label is EFI. Hopefully it needs to be capitalized. So we'll commit this change. Oh, without the forward slash? And you can't change this, son of a... Okay. Okay, so EFI, all caps or no? We're, we're doing like uh, paired programming here. Oh, you missed the part where it failed? You liked the Rocky uh, Linux video? Thank you, I appreciate that. That was fun. Megabytes, not gigabytes? Uh, yeah, it's it's megabytes. Yeah, we're, we're good. Oh! Space, free space proceed. Ah, there. Am I doing it right? Yeah, that's it. This is the one that I need to change. Can we get biker EG? Um, yeah, we probably could. I haven't I I haven't even considered a biker EG commish, but yeah, we could. There we go. You guys were just gonna let me create a ginormous Fat Thirty Two partition? God, you guys are terrible code reviewers. That's okay. I'm really I'm really bad at code reviews too. I'm I so you know how you know how people change it to uh, 1024. I've I've used 1024 before. You should be able to. No, so yeah, a lot of people are joining in. I um it won't work for me at all. That's why we're doing the advanced partitioner. I realize a lot of people are dropping in without any any like context. Wait a second. Hold on. Select the partitions. Oh, I like that it's airing out in the background because it's just sitting, it's forked. <laughs> Swap also. <laughs> sure, yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and commit it. It's called fat, so it can be a good partition. Why do you want fat? I don't because that's what, how EFI works. There we go. This is, a, this is a good song. What is this? 
This is Love Story. Uh, what is this? Love st Broken Heart by Desired? Oh, yeah. Do you like King Crips Crimson? Um, I haven't listened to much of them, to be honest. Okay, so I have my Fat32, and I've got my EX4 home. Let's give it a try. Yeah, racy lyrics. There we go. Finally. All right, what have I missed out on? Yeah, for folks that, that, that saw me do the partitioning thing, um, I've, I, I can't get pop installed anymore. It worked once and it didn't work. Uh, are you using Spotify? Can you share the playlist? Um, I can, I cannot confirm nor deny I'm using Spotify, but if you use Spotify, you can see the playlist. There should be three or four of them in the description. I put, I try to, I try to make, I'm putting together like two other playlists right now. And, and one of them I haven't used on stream yet. I'm sure it'll be fine, but it has like singing. So I don't know if, I don't know how it'll go over. I mean, to be fair, this has singing too. I, I'll just play a song from that, from that playlist. I could just turn it down. This, this genre, I don't know what the hell this genre is called. It reminds me of hyper pop. Just like. It's like hyper pop without the irony. And it it reminds me of just like the hooks from it's just like hooks from singles. <laughs> it's just like these um these fun melodies that that get stuck in your head. And that's the song. It's just the, it's just the same pop hooks. MX installs faster. Nothing installs faster than Solus. Pop is pretty fast. Hey, EG, you have me in the background while you code. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. This is good stuff. Hopefully the stream won't be too distracting. Okay. So do we want to take bets on whether or not this will work? <laughs> Party Seppo, you create, you collect marbles. Yeah, you like that? We're we're listening to pop while listening or while installing pop. Here we go. I like to put on developers when I'm when I'm coding. Like um, my favorite developers to listen to are the Solus guys. Brian and Josh. Uh, what the hell? What happened? It didn't even try. I must have partitioned it wrong. Because it, it didn't even try to boot in. Or it didn't install the bootloader or something. I don't know. No, it's there. God, this is hard to read. Okay. You go there. Patriot memory. So there, there's those. No, that's the same one. Crap, they all have really similar names. They're all like UEFI, Patriot, Samsung. Okay, that should work. All right, let's see what it does. You haven't dis... Uh, disconnected the USB key no because it starts from the top and then works its way down so if this if the install was successful it wouldn't even get in there it does say I have three keyboards why <laughs> okay there's one failure oh there's the next one and did it lock up yep sure did dude this is not good I'm standing behind you right now did you remember the boot flags? I did. Alright. You didn't set the boot flag? Yeah, I did. Okay. 
Yeah, this is bad. I'm, I'm going to try, since there's a lot more people watching, I'm going to try one more regular install, and then we're just going to do the live session thing. Yeah, try the. I'm gonna try the automatic session. Uh, try the automatic install one more time. Why is it that every time you look at pop, something goes wrong? I have that reverse Midas touch. I would like it if everything I touch turned to gold, but instead, everything I touch just turns to shit. Not everything, but some things for sure. If it's software related. <laughs> the black thumb of Linux. <laughs> Man. I left Godot open. I was working on something cool can't wait to show you guys. I have a bunch of really cool stuff to show you guys, but I don't want to talk about it until I have it up so that there's I'm talking about something and not just like random stuff. Are you still using Endeavor? No, I'm on Solus. I've been on Solus for probably a month now. I did use Endeavor for a brief period of time, but it, it was... Eh. wasn't a huge fan. I hope I said Endeavor. I meant to say Solus. I'm using Endeavor. I used... What? I screwed it up already. I'm using Solus. I used Endeavor a couple months ago and it was eh. So clean install. I select that drive. You know what? I'm going to change my PFP. Let's be an astronaut. Look how low res that is. Is that for real though? <laughs> Why are the stock PFPs so low res? Look at that. Hello from India. Hello, hello. If all else fails, the installer might void if there's absolutely nothing. I, we're just going to do it live if it refuses. Have I been waiting for Godot? No, there's no more waiting. Godot is so good. Developer, like the lead developer. Is that Juan, I think? He's awesome. You might have to fix the EFI partition. Um, I don't think so. Do you guys think I should encrypt it or should I leave it unencrypted? I'm not sure what to do here. You want to know what keyboard I'm using? I've got a Red Dragon... What is this thing? I don't know what it is. It's a Red Dragon something. I think it's on my Twitch. You want me to encrypt? Okay. Don't? Oh, Drishal's saying don't encrypt. Hey, raccoon. <laughs> How are you? No encryption. What if that's the problem? All right, no encryption. I like this one. This reminds me of California for some reason. This music didn't even exist when I was living down there, but it reminds me of being at the beach and stuff. Raccoon Amata. Raccoon Amata. Raccoon Amata. Trouble installing? Oh yeah, it, it will not install. It's being a real pain. We're going to call this Pain OS. Oh, I don't even get logs. <laughs> Full metal. Hey, what's going on? Raccoon Amatata. Why do you want to go to why do you want to go to <clears throat> EG place so much? Like what do you mean, where I am? It's pretty hot here. I don't know if you'd like it. Have you tested EXT4? We've done I mean, like I've also done a lot of stuff outside of the stream. <clears throat> Nothing seems to work. It does work well on your your machine, where cynical? You know, maybe I should growl <clears throat> when people give tips instead of telling jokes. Are you installing it on an SSD? Yes. Why do you ask? Am I ever going to go VTube? Yeah, I could I I I said no 
at first. But I don't know. I, I think I could. I kind of got a VTube thing going, right? Let me see. There you go. Actually, this is more how I feel about pop at this point. Getting complex commissions like that, whether it's like basically anything that's expensive and takes time is can be kind of dicey. Oh, I've never played this on stream before and I know this is this was like played on the radio. I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble. I guess we'll find out. I noticed that the um the elementary OS guys did their um EDW or whatever it was and they had a song during the intro that got got the whole thing blocked. And then I'm over here just like playing copyrighted music. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> the copyright rules are weird. I, I wonder if YouTube just gave up on my channel and said, whatever, just let him play whatever he wants. E.g. the install is finished. You're going to listen while you play some games? You should play TF2. Space Engineers is pretty good. <clears throat> if you play TF2, you should play on a community server. Am I disappointed? No. Well, I mean... I'm unimpressed. I wouldn't say I'm disappointed. I'm just unimpressed. <clears throat> just add Solus. Alright, let's give this a shot. Something along the last line of your EFI. Do you like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? No, I've never watched it. You'd think EG would be cute. I think, I think that doing the VTube thing would be fun. It would be a... I mean, you guys don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just like, kind of sitting here with my arms crossed. I got two microphones in my face. Nope, that did not work. Is it, and it's going to lock up, right? Oh, it didn't lock up this time. What a mess. All right, we're just going to do the live thing. We've been at this for 40 minutes. Yep, so there's your uh, first impressions of Pop OS. And, and for the record, if anybody is in chat is wondering, or if anybody watching the VOD is wondering, yes, I tried re-downloading the ISO. Yes, I tried the NVIDIA ISO. This is the Intel ISO. I tried the NVIDIA ISO. I tried burning the ISO with Etcher and with GNOME disks. And I tried installing to a different hard drive. Nothing worked. But other people are saying that it worked for them, so I don't know. No idea. So we're going to check out Pop! OS from the live session. What's my hardware? This is that Asus PB50. Is that true of the stream, though? Is, this, is it always a good time? Good time... Make swap partition and the rest of the SSD mount is... Many people are using Ubuntu or Mint instead. Yeah, I, we've spent enough time futzing with this. I think that uh, we're ready to move on. And we can do all of the tests and stuff from the live session. It's There are some limitations, but... Um, for example, we can't... Well, do I have a pencil or something? I don't have anything. Damn it. Okay. They're trying to brand it as a user-friendly distro. I mean, like Alan said earlier, they have QA issues is all I can say. Like, this isn't the only time I've run into quality issues with Pop! OS, so... I, I think the, the bottom line... Is it a good time? Sorry, if you have to try. <laughs> the bottom line is that Pop! OS is... Like, System76 makes laptops, and that's what Pop! OS is targeted to, for, at. I assume, anyway. So, like, downloading their distro and trying to put it on some random hardware might not be the best plan, but at the same time, there are lots and lots of distros that work just fine on this hardware. I recorded Rocky on this. I recorded ro the Rocky the Rocky Linux review on this hardware, and it worked perfectly fine. Whoa, this is belated. Okay. It's just not going to work. There's only so much misery that we can put. So, a couple things we can't check. 
uh, there, we can't look at the install size. And yeah, there, it, it, there's something about my hardware it doesn't like. I don't know. And the memory usage isn't accurate. All right. So what's the installer? I think that it's a custom built thing by the Pop OS folks. Isn't it written in Rust or something? Let's find out what the, where the binary is. Oh, we don't... Oh, this is weird. Uh, do we have HTOP? No. Can we install HTOP? Um, how far ahead do I want to get it? Well, it's just the monitor. I'm curious what the, the installer is. It's like a poor man's way of doing it. I.O. Elementary Installer? I was not expecting this. What the heck? Okay. Now I'm curious. This is uh, the elementary and... What? This, this... The pop used it before elementary. How does that work? Failed to create. Help. Non-destructive test mode. Should we do the test mode? <laughs> Alright, that's enough of this. Did you try turning it off and on? Oh yeah. Tried all that good stuff. It took you like three days to get mint on your... Man, that is very strange. Any post-install... Inst uh, install <laughs> this song is called Post Malone. Are there any post-install st uh, steps? No. Is there a welcome app? Actually, there is, but we're not going to be able to see it. Okay, so all this stuff is... I guess we can look at the release notes. Listen to how happy and chipper this song is. It's it's just like the happy, sweet candy portions of, of pop singles. Like, why listen to a song if you're only going to like, you know, one minute of a four-minute song? Why not just listen to that one minute over and over again? <laughs> oh, I don't have internet, right? It has Bluetooth, though. Any, any of you fellas do that? You, you have, you have like a five-minute song that you enjoy, but you really only listen to it for like thirty seconds of it. There's like a solo or something that you really dig, and that's all you're looking for. I can't possibly be the only person that does that. But if you but if you skip to the solo, it just doesn't feel the same. Here we go. <laughs> All I can really do is laugh. Stairway to Heaven. Yeah, the the out the ending part of Stairway to Heaven is really good. You listen to some of the Madden Madden songs for like thirty seconds. Go, go, go. You only listen to Celine Dion, these great stuff every single second of it? Wow. You used a pencil to rewind it? You rewind to the parts that you want to hear again. Hey man, where there's a will there's a way. Pop OS twenty one point four, release of cosmic proportions. Should I make a joke about that? I'm not going to. I don't want to. I don't want to kick Pop while it's down. It clearly doesn't like my hardware. I don't know. Other people are are complaining, but I don't know. Pop OS is developed to help you unleash your your potential by providing you with efficient tools that streamline your workflow. The cosmic workflow. We'll get into this in a moment. Mouse to dock or not to dock. For the record. There are parts of Cosmic that I really like, and we'll get to that in just a moment. Mouse, take it from the top bar. This is mostly just about Cosmic. Is this the only... Are these... Like, is this it? Is this 21.4? Okay. 
Well, it's in India because expensive electronics are pocket money. Couldn't buy batteries, so pencil. <laughs> Deb based distros seem to have compatibility problems. I don't think it has anything to do with Debian. Listen to that candy. I love this. I mean, I love the idea. I'd get burned out listening to this all the time, but it's, it's just funny the idea of just writing a hook and making that the entire song. Like, there's a lot of pop music that, like, it's good, and then there's, like, an interlude or, or something that just, like, just ruins the entire song, and you wish that you could listen to it and just cut that one part out. Maroon 5's um, payphone is like that. There's there's that part where, um, I can't remember the rapper, but he comes on, and, and it's just, like, it just ruins the song, in my opinion. I don't know if I'll play that. i probably get in trouble for playing it. What's the store? It's the pop shop. I was only going to play one song from this, this playlist, but we've been going for a while now. Hi, how are you today? You're using 20.4 and it's real good? He grabs some things from Tweaks. Is it possible to install Cosmic? I think it's just a GNOME extension. I'm not going to run updates because we have limited space in this live session. Wiz Khalifa? Yeah, that's it. I'm at a pain. That's a, it's a good song. That that reminds me of San Diego. That, was real, that song was really popular when I was living down there. Is Cosmic going to be a desktop environment or is it... Is it so let's let's go ahead and talk about the desktop since people are asking. Um, the software store is the Pop Shop. Uh, it's this is kind of strange that this is a, actually a button instead of like a drop down. So you click it and then it pops open this, which is forked from Ubuntu, I believe. And you can manage your sources, flat pack stuff like that. So that's the Pop Shop. Let's pick some other tunes, though. That was a good song that just started playing there, actually. <laughs> what do you guys want? You want future funk or you want you want chill stuff? I'll put on a future funk tune, and then you guys can tell me what you want to listen to. This is a new a new song from Desired called Love. You guys, let me know what you want to listen to. I've got some good intermission music so this is the cosmic desktop as you can see we got a panel at the bottom your icons and tool tips and their tool what are these helper these things are pinned right into the middle if we open something new like we open the calendar it'll add it to the end and push things down that way we still have the gnome top bar it's been changed a little bit. We have applications and workspaces. And if you press the super key, you get an application finder. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this, to be honest with you. One of the things I absolutely love about GNOME is that you get everything with a push. It's a dock, not a panel. Well, it looks like a panel. On, on vanilla gnome you press the super key and you get it all you get workspaces you get application search you get you get your this you get everything well you can actually how does solus work if I press this oh you just get workspaces that's how mine is set up I don't know I don't like that they separated these things out um, but I mean uh, people like it so Maybe I'm in the minority here. If you want to customize it, you go to settings and there's a new area called desktop. Super key, you can change it. Maybe uh, right now it's the, it's the launcher. Maybe you want it to fire off workspaces. Let's get a whole bunch of stuff going here. Have you test the unstable release? They need more QA on this. Yes, they do. Well, I mean, I, I mean, Maybe. 
It probably works just fine on System76 hardware. Like, let's remember that. I would be stunned if they shipped this broken on their laptops. So, th th they need more community QA, I guess. Like, they're responsible for making sure that it works on their hardware. If it doesn't work on my hardware, I guess it's more of a community issue, right? So, I, I, I don't want to bash on them too much. Because, you know, their first, their first priority is hardware. So, as long as it works on their their laptops and everything it's good enough for them no that's asus issue yeah i mean apparently it doesn't like my heart my my hardware whatever what do i think about firefox's new ui um you know it really bothered me at first but now i don't care i i don't really have much of an opinion on it it's it's a thing it is what it is. For those of you who don't know who System76 is, they are a company based out of Colorado in the States, I believe. And they sell laptops, they sell hardware, or they sell hardware. They sell laptops, keyboards, even desktops. You switched to Brave full time? Yeah, I, I came back to Brave. I use uh, Firefox on my work VM, but I use Brave on my desktop. You liked the new Fire, Firefox UI? Yeah, I mean, it was it was a change, and I didn't know how I felt about it at first, and now I'm, I'm pretty ambivalent to it. It just, it, it is, it just is. System 76 reminds you of Fallout 76. <laughs> You have a very soothing voice. Thank you. If you like, if you like how my voice sounds, then you would like my other channel. Brave Search is not. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I've been using Brave Search. It's it's really solid. I've been using it full time for about a week. I find it to be. I know this is going to be controversial, but I find it to be better than DuckDuckGo. <clears throat> not as good as Google for some things. Like I was trying to look up song lyrics. I uh, warm up and uh, doc, <laughs> I don't know. That's what I get for typing and talking. That, just, that never works. Uh, I, I warm up my voice by singing and some songs I, I can't remember the lyrics off the top of my head. So when I type in lyrics here, it just, it, like, it's just not as good. Looking up coding, coding questions is pretty good, though. New search engine by Brave. Why did it hold that for review? What the heck? Google is worthless outside the, is that right? Yeah, yeah, DuckDuckGo is, is strange. I, it's like, it, it, like, at some point, it got really good and then they just stopped improving it and now it's it's just been kind of in the same state where it's meh i would say that it's it's probably better than bing and that's it so i i have a lot of hope for for brave if nothing else it's a new service and it's in beta and it's already really good so i i have high hopes for this I, I hope that DuckDuckGo can kind of get better, but like, even the presentation, like this doesn't, this doesn't, I don't know about you guys, this doesn't look good to me. It's too dark, the contrast is weird, it's, it's kind of hard to read, to be honest. It feels very busy and cluttered. This is just, and it, this makes really good use of the screen space too. You've got this thing on the side, tells you what the B side is, like it's just, it's good. Have you looked at Falcon web browser? I have. It's okay. You still duck duck. You still use duck duck go. Yeah, I mean it's this thing. It's like if you if you if you dig it and it works for you, then by all means enjoy it. It it just doesn't work for me. I'm not a not a duck duck go user. I'm a fan. I I like what they do. I like their goals and objectives. I'm just I'm not a duck duck go user. 
Anyways, I got way off track. What were we doing? Is there a firmware installer? Actually, ooh. If this was GNOME, I'd be able to search right now, but instead, all I get is workspaces. I guess it's worth pointing out that this is the workspace switcher. It's on the left-hand side, which is interesting. But with GNOME 30 point, like 30, you know, 36, 38, whatever, this was on the right side, I believe. And it was like halfway there. It was, it was, it was a style basically. And on GNOME 40, this is gone completely, and you just have like another um, conceptual desktop over here. But on Pop, it's this little thing. I, I, I kind of, I don't know. I, I think I actually might like this better because it's easier to see what's going on on all of my workspaces. But I really enjoy the presentation of. Uh, Gnome 40 better. Try emulating a newer Windows game? Well, Nathan, I wish that I could. I don't think we're going to be able to because we're in the live session, but I will try. I had a whole bunch of really cool stuff planned, but because we can't install it, I'm very limited in what I can do. Could you try installing it in a VM? Yeah, but we're already an hour into the stream. I, I don't even think I would have time installing. I don't think I have time to install 20.4 and upgrade it before the stream is over, basically. So we're, I'm, I'm working with what I got. What does NeoFetch look like? Thoughts on the live session so far? I mean, it's okay. You can customize it a bit. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, what is happening here? What did I do? Oh, you know what? This is for um, touch. This feels really strange using a mouse. But think about it. If you if you had a touch screen or something, you could just like swipe down and be on your next workspace. That's kind of cool. But using a mouse, that feels strange. Give me your IG. I, I can help you. I don't. What's an IG? Is that Instagram? I don't. I don't use Instagram. I have Twitter, and that's practically it. <clears throat> Waiting for the gaming ses session. We'll get there. Enable top left corner, so you can have that. Okay. The top bar, show the buttons. Okay. I See, I like that better. I, this, this looks strange, having workspaces and applications up there. So we turn that off and turn hot corners off. Yeah, that's good. This, this'll do. Yeah, we can do that. And then the applications button, it's kind of weird. Window control, we turn that off. Yeah. Thank you for not using Instagram. Yeah, I try to avoid anything associated with Facebook. I really don't like Facebook. You always can confuse Manjaro with Mandriva. <laughs> That's okay. Those are two very different distros. They've got a dark mode, which is the default. Here's your light mode. Huh. The icons look kind of cool in dark mode, though. I kind of dig that. Here we go. See? I'm getting used to it. I got this. I actually kind of like the the light mode. Sorry, EG use Windows. That, uh, that's okay. No need to apologize to me. Use whatever works for you. You guys don't like light mode? <laughs> well, I do. I appreciate it. Pop Nord? Never heard of that. Enable the dock. Oh, and now it's gone. You can just turn it off entirely. There we go. There, I like that. Let's get this stupid thing, get out of there. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And what's this? Show workspaces. We are. We can already do that. And then the launcher. No, that. This is. Yeah, I don't need any of those. 
always hide. Oh, is that right? Ew. I don't like that. Get that out of there. Intelligently hide. There we go. Yeah. You can make it bigger or smaller. Oh, that looks weird. That looks weird too. What does this do? Oh, weird, it pushes this out. <laughs> this feels wrong. Having the dock on the right side, that just feels like wrong and perverse. Yeah, I, I'm feeling it. This is, this is okay. I could use this. Oh, here you go. No, no, no. Oh crap, I broke it. Put that back to the default. There we go. Now it's like GNOME 30. I kind of like it the way it was before though. I don't know why I don't like this. I, I have no explanation. I like having it on the bottom of the screen and having workspaces on the left. I have no idea why that looks better to me, but that's okay. All right, there you go. If I had to use Pop! OS with Cosmic, this is how it would look. We'll put the dark mode back on for you guys. All right, there you go. This is okay. I approve of, if you guys were wondering what EG's opinion is of Cosmic Desktop, I approve. I like this. I think that this is this is the best possible timeline for Linux Desktop. You've got KDE, which is in pretty good shape. You've got GNOME 40. And if you're not a fan of GNOME 40's, like GNOME's new um, kind of vision for the desktop, then you could go with Cosmic. Oh, dumbass raccoon. <laughs> I'm so glad that you said that. Give it a rating of out of 10. I don't think Reed is in chat, and that's okay, but him and I talked last week, and I want to start rating distros. I, I, I wanted to avoid it for the, the longest time. I was trying to avoid rating distros, but um, I, I feel like I've, I've, uh, I've grown up, and I want to start rating them. But I don't want to give them like an EG rating or something like that. Instead, we talked about using something called a jank score or a jank factor. And it eventually became the Distro Delve Jankometer. So I didn't get a chance to prototype any uh, like art for it, but it would be the jank o meter and it is one out of ten so you've got I'll make this basically marked down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay actually there you go so it's actually like zero of ten so it's a score you, you have eleven different things so zero would be no no jank Seemingly perfect. Okay. Moderate jank. Maximum jank. So I like the term jank because it is completely and totally subjective. What I consider janky may not be what you consider janky, but that's what makes it fun. <clears throat> so that doesn't put me in a position where I'm like, where I'm like um, recommending stuff or something like that. It's like whether I'm using it and it's like, this just feels janky, you know? And that's language that I think that everybody can relate to when something feels janky or just off. Doesn't necessarily mean it's broken. Doesn't mean it's buggy. It just means it's janky. So if if uh, it's not official yet, I've, I haven't I haven't put it into production yet. I want to have some art for it, so there's like a thermometer of jank. If I had to rate Cosmic Desktop 
on the jank score. Hmm. So Pop OS is pretty janky. Pop OS by itself, just because of the installer, it's pretty janky. I can't even get it to install. Okay. So never mind that. Pop OS, uh, Cosmic Desktop. Honestly, I think it's pretty darn low on the Janko meter. I, I think that the only thing that is janky to me is that I'm just simply used to pressing, pressing the super key and having workspaces and stuff happen. Oh my god, it highlights the things. That's kind of cool. I, dude, I, I think I would say that it's probably there. Now, having a lower score doesn't necessarily mean it's it's good or bad or better or worse. It just means it's not very janky. And even though Pop! OS isn't very janky, I still wouldn't use it. You support the rating system. The, the arbitrary and obscure rating system. I don't know. It's, it's somewhere between a 2 and a 3. I, I, I can't really find anything that I just don't like about Pop! OS besides the fact that I can't install it. Uh, I don't want to use it because it, honestly I just don't like Debian and Ubuntu based distros anymore. I, I've used them forever. I use them at work. And they're just not interesting or sexy to me at all. So I, I love Solus. I love the developers. I love their goals. Their pragmatism. You should try and find an, uh, an acronym for jank. KDE would be a perfect 10. Well, a perfect 10 what? It wouldn't be 10 on jank score. Though I will say that KDE ranks pretty high. Why not Fedora instead? Uh, I just, I haven't had good experiences with Fedora. And it's, it's not a distro that I want to use. Why don't I like Debian? But you can make it more interesting and sexy. I mean, I guess one of the things I like about I don't like releases. I think I think that the idea of having static releases is cool for businesses and enterprises. But EG is not a business or an enterprise. EG is a Linux enthusiast, and Debian is not an enthusiastic distro. It is a solid, stable, boring, uninteresting distro, which is perfect for businesses and enterprises. I want something exciting. I want something a little janky, something with some character, something that, you know, it might break or do something stupid. That's okay with me. Now you want to switch to what distro? I don't want to switch to anything. I'm happy on Solus. Oh, we were going to install NeoFetch. So there you go. Did, wait, did I? There you go. You like simplistic OS, yet advanced enough for my workflow. Switch to Red Star OS, Slackware. Maximum jank, go Arch? No way. I wouldn't call Arch janky. Have I tried Rick, Rick's OS? See, this will be fun. The regulars that watch the show and and know me and know how I rate things, you'll get you'll get a feel for what EG considers janky. I I haven't figured it out yet, but we'll get there. I can't really rate distros on the jank scale until I get them under my paws. Basically, I, I can't say, oh, you know, void is janky. I've never I've never even used it. Arch and Vintage. I don't think Arch is janky, though. How about giving Arco a proper look? We could look at Arco again. Hannah Montana Linux? That's janky. That's janky just because it's a one-off unsupported thing. Which DE do you use on Solus? I used Budgie. I tried Mate. Mate. And right now I'm on GNOME 40, and I'm enjoying it quite a lot. So this is Pop! OS on Pop! OS, 21.4, 64 bits. Do you guys call it, when you're talking about computer architecture, the most sexy of topics? Let's talk about computers. Let's talk about 
architecture. <laughs> do you call it 32-bit? Or do you call it 32 bits? Do you call it a 64-bit OS? Or do you call it a 64-bits OS? <laughs> this is such a silly stream. You guys are too much fun. I've missed this. I've, I've missed these streams. 64-bit. Bit. Everybody's saying bit. I see I see bits used all over the place. As long as it's not bit with three extra letters at the end. Kernel version 5.11. The live session has 1700 packages installed. We got bash 5.1. This is GNOME 3.38, really? Interesting. This isn't even GNOME 40. Hmm. Dash bit. 64 dash bit. 64 biatch. I don't think that that's an official term. There's also risk. The window manager is mutter. Gnome terminal. The GPU is AMD ATI. What the hell is ATI? Picasso. What are we doing here? Is it time to switch to the more copyrighted music, the dangerous music? I've got a playlist in store for you guys. I think you're going to like it. How do you change the background? We already did that. Is there a search? Yes, we did that too. When was the first time I used Linux? Um, I answered that on Curious Cat, actually. If you guys wanted to ask me anonymous questions and just have me answer them, there I'm over on Curious Cat. Ask me questions there been getting a lot of them. I need to check it, actually. I got like eight. I like it. I've been considering doing a Q&A video on both of my channels. It's probably different questions for different audiences. But I do like answering questions. When was the first time I used Linux? Um, I think... I don't remember the year exactly, but I was like 22. No, I was 21, actually. So that was a while ago. But yeah, I used it because my uh, license for Windows w had been used too many times and they shut me down because I was changing my hardware and stuff. So you have to like reactivate your license and they were the, it was Windows 7, right? Windows 7 or Windows Vista, I can't remember. But they, uh, they told me, they were like, you can't do this anymore. And I actually had to call Microsoft and the, the person that I got a hold of was like, yeah, that, that key has been activated too many times. And I was like, yeah, well, I guess I won't use Windows anymore. So I found a distro that had the coolest logo, and that was Fedora. Disable the Cosmic. You taken off, Parth? It was good having you. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I like this song a lot. Windows refund day. I don't use Windows on this laptop much anymore. Just to play games sometimes. Alright, so let's turn all this off. Uh, I guess these extensions are unstoppable. Why did I leave Fedora? It, it just wasn't the distro for me. If you, look, if you look back on my channel, I actually used to do videos about Fedora a lot. It was a common distro that I had on, the, on my channel. But I think what killed it for me is, is they um, push kernel updates constantly. And if you have anything that requires a specific kernel, you're basically hosed. So most distros are pretty diligent about the kernels that they give you. I, this was a long time ago. I don't know if Fedora still does this, but like if you're using NVIDIA on Fedora and you get a kernel update, your display might just die. The same if you're using like Lightworks or something else that is particular about the kernel version, then Fedora just isn't, isn't an option. <clears throat> and I don't, I don't like using a distro that is, I mean, that, that's just, un, that's unstable to me. Like I shouldn't have to worry for each update whether or not it's gonna break a bunch of my stuff. Like that's ridiculous. 
Anyway, it doesn't appear that you can disable the desktop. <laughs> What's the file manager? I mean, this is basically, you still use LTS kernels. So Solus has two different kernel choices. They have LTS and then they have the kernel that they chose. So it's, I don't, I don't exactly know how they do it, but it, it's rock fricking solid. Let's put on some rock music for you guys. You guys like rock music? That's what I, that's what I chose for my curated tunes. This is EG's pirate pirate radio. I'm gonna turn it down a bit because these songs have singing. <clears throat> we'll see. You like that hardcore stuff? I don't have much hardcore. Okay, we're back. All right, what else do we do? I think we're about ready to uh, plug in my external drive. Where is it? Uh-oh, where the hell is it? I seem to have misplaced my external drive. Is this country? Heaven, no. This is a classic. YouTube said we forgot about this guy. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> That's what it seems like. I feel bad for the elementary guys that tried to do their stream and then the first part of it, or like the whole video or something got blocked because of something they played at the very beginning and then I'm over here playing Seether. Like, what the <laughs> YouTube just gave up on me. They let me do whatever I want. Once you once you become a mad lad like me, people just stop caring. <laughs> Queen or Led Zeppelin? I've played Led Zeppelin once. I, there was one time I played Led Zeppelin. I think it was Ramble On, and it was fine. And then all the other times, I get in trouble for it. So I'll tell you what, Drishel. I'll play some classic rock next stream. I'll have two playlists. I'll have classic rock to see if I get into trouble, and then I'll have something else I can fall back on. Robin Trower. <laughs> Classic rock will be next stream. Okay. What are we doing here? We connected Delve Juice. Oh, no. Come on, now. It might not have EXFAT support. Hold on. Theme time. Fedora took some time to get used to, but now you like it. Dude, come on. This There's a lot of content in here. Why can't I use that? How are we going to get the tests? Hmm. Well, this is tricky. There was one more that I didn't have. EX Fat Progs. I know that it's saying it's a permissions error, but I don't believe it. I think it's BSing me. How could it possibly be a permissions error? Don't format it. It's under media. It's not where those things are supposed to be. Delve juice. Permission denied. Oh. Okay, for some reason I legit can't access this. Hey, wait a second, where are my tests? My tests aren't even here. I guess I could run these. Oh, it's, it's moving it to root? That's not where I wanted it. Let's try this again. 
Oh, it's... Hold on. No. 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 Don't just pick a random song. You're going to play the wrong one. This has to be in order. There's not the Seether song. Oh, it's in there. Okay. Okay. Well, let's get rid of the Janko meter. So, these are some games that I wrote that I wanted to show you guys. Where are my tests? I'm trying to think. I mean, they're on my laptop. I, I could just put them on there. I, I must have forgotten to put them on. Only thing I can think of. Let me do that really quick. Play some sea shanties. We still good? Everything good? Had to jostle some stuff. All right, let me get my tests. Got some good music playing, so. Yeah, because I, I, I use this on the Rocky stream. <laughs> Not the stream, but the Rocky uh, Distro Delves video. Which, if you haven't seen it, is it me or does EG need a gaming channel? I mean, technically this is the gaming channel, but I stream on Twitch. That's where I play games and stuff. I play games here too sometimes, but not very often. Oh, I have something to show you guys too. I'm trying to, okay. So everything copied over? This seems to be everybody's favorite part. Don't want to miss it. Screw it up. So how much space do we have on this partition? That is the question. We have... We really have 15 gigs? Of it? Well... a lot of stuff we're installing. Hopefully we don't fill up the drive. Okay. Media, Pop OS, Delve Juice. Uh, recursive? Is that it? Oh, I have to change the thing because it's all root. Who is this actually? Is it is the user just Pop OS? Like that? Is it Dash R? Yeah. I think we're good. App scares you on Pop OS? Why? What did I miss? Maybe restart Nautilus. No, I, I don't know. RPM is for motorcycles. Play some sea shanties. Your mom uses Photoshop. You have to use Windows. That's, I mean, that's fine. You're going to play some TF2? Or you want me to play some TF2? I haven't played TF2 in quite a while. Best of intentions. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. 7-zip? We got it. APK? We got it. RAR? So, I, if, if you guys watched that Rocky Linux video, <clears throat> remember that uh, some of these archives opened in the browser, like the in Nautilus instead of in the file archive? I don't know why it does that. That's so freaking annoying. But these all opened properly. Oh dear. Well, I don't know if Steam is going to be playable. We've seen this on stream before. I have never had this happen outside of stream. I know that we've seen this issue on stream before, though. I, I don't know how to fix it, unfortunately. <laughs> 
Linux is not a Mac replacement. I mean, it, it can be, depending on what you do with it. Okay, let's make sure that this doesn't start playing through. Like, what is this? Where is it going to play? Oh, it can't even play it. So this was in the Rocky Linux video, video too. Let's see if this actually works, though. Is it going to open the pop shop? There it is. I've only had Steam work if you install it through the pop shop. You've been playing GTA San Andreas, so Reed plays that too. Oh, maybe this is what was wrong. I didn't use the installer. Drat. Failed to launch Steam. Do I have to reinstall the whole thing? Ah. Alright, let's just do a heckin' reinstall. Okay. Are we back to square one? Alright, let's install it through the installer. This is dodgy. You need to install liberation fonts for Steam, really? Liberations, libations. Font. Nah. Cosmic is a joke. Splitting the things is a terrible joke. I, I mean, terrible thing. I don't know. It's 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 fine to me, honestly. I don't. Well. Ah. Deal with that later. All right, let's see what, what all works here. AC3 is working. Flack doesn't work. Peyote makes the cosmos comfortable. No MP2s. MP3 is good. Aug is good. Opus is good. Wave is good, of course. And WMA is good. Give me a PDF viewer. Oh, yeah. Uh, can't open AV1. BMP is good. H-E-I-C is no good. I-C-O, can't open that. JPEG, TIFF, sometimes TIFF is it. Okay. WebP doesn't work. XBM, look at that. You haven't heard this song in like 15 years? I'm glad that I can share it with you. Seems like there aren't very many games on uh, games Linux native. I don't really care if they're uh, native to Linux or not. I used to, but anymore I just want. I don't care. I just want to play a game. Linux is good at pretending something. It's being something that it's not. <laughs> All right, AVI is okay. The quality isn't the best, but it's it works. MP4 is good. MP4 with X. 265 is good. No MPEG. VC1 is good. I don't even know what VC1 Oh, VC1 is WMB. Native means nothing since Proton. Yeah, I mean, for real though. VP8 and VP9. So can we play MPG? Wow, look at that. It actually it successfully grabbed the codex. That's impressive. Now I didn't get the audio codex though, but that's okay. Yeah. I'm feeling it. By the way, you guys, people ask me somewhat regularly how they can get these test files. Well, 
now you can. Sometimes native games are worse than Proton. I think that's, honestly, that's like most of the time. So if you go to my GitHub, go to Distro Delves, there's an initial release. You can now get the Distro Delves tests, archives, audio, a PDF doc, image formats, video formats. No apps or games though. So if you if you ever wanted to grab these, if you're one of the many people that has gra asked me for those uh, tests, now you can get them. App images dot. Oh, I think that I was going to um, pack these into the thing, but it, it, I didn't didn't finish that. Oh, hey, Reed. I've been talking about you a lot this stream. <laughs> Adding a dock to Linux and making it act like Mac. I mean, you can't, like, there's a lot of stuff that Mac does that, that no one else does. So, I mean, and also Mac, Mac OS is a bit more than just a dock. We get your Minecraft going. How about this? Search in software. Oh, it doesn't know what to do with an app image? Oh, wow. That's, that's kind of lame. <laughs> sure. We're going to be playing Doki Doki Literature Club, right? Is that it next week? So if you want to watch me play Doki Doki, you can hop over to Twitch. I'm going to stream it on Tuesday and, and Wednesday. Oh, gosh. You know, I feel like this might have something to do with a live session. Yeah, I don't think this is going to launch because of the live session. It, it, it Maybe it restricts access to the temp directory or something because it has space. Yeah. Well, drat. You can't do that one. Are any of these going to work? Oops. Or wait, no, I meant app image. What the hell was I doing? I was on autopilot there, complete autopilot. Oh well, app images don't seem to work. Still couldn't figure out the install part? No, never did. By the way, does Reed have uh, an art channel? I mean, we have art channels in Discord, but I've started to use Fur Affinity. So if you want to see all of, because there's a lot of there's a lot of art that I've gotten that I don't like. There, it's there to look for me to look at, and that's it. Like, it, it's not always functional, but I, I want to share that. People want to see it. So if you do want to see all of the, and I've got I have a lot of art. I don't think people realize it's really fun to get commissions. It's really fun. But yeah, I'm going to start uploading those to uh, for Affinity so people can enjoy them. <clears throat> I don't really want to log into Minecraft, though. Do I? No, not a Microsoft login. Good lord, get out of here. Dun, 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 da, 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 da. All right. Enjoy that commission. I should have used the alien commission. Install and run Unreal Engine. Welcome back from dinner. See you there. That's a, you know what? Actually, it's not a terrible idea. Don't you have to sign up for an Epic account to get it, though? 
you're back with your sippy cup with Jack and Ice. You know, Doug, I, I, we used to do that. I used to go to go to parties and people would would get so shitty that they would have trouble with like open beverages, so we'd put them in sippy cups. <laughs> I never got I never got that bad, but I did see people that 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 did get that that bad, and they needed uh, child safety cups to protect their drinks. The straw works too. Okay. You guys want to see some games I wrote? Where are they? Oh dear. Oh, I haven't run them actually. Hold on. You need to compile. You need to compile it from source. You were at that party, Doug. <laughs> Drunk safety beer cups. <laughs> Minecraft has the slowest download speed. I guess it's the mirrors, huh? Straws are for other things. Oh, here's your Minecraft. So we probably don't have Node, so we'll do apt install Node.js. Oh my god, I know how to type, I promise you. I've typed a couple times before. I did a typing test on stream one time. It was pretty fast, wasn't it? It was like 80-something. Maybe I typed too fast for my own good. You, you guys would have to see my my desk. It's With two of these microphones in my face, It's it's hard to... I don't know. What a thing to do. I don't know if there's anybody on the server right now. I haven't been watching it. So this seems to work good. What a thing to say. Everything's on full blast, looks like. Sorry. Riddle Dax's house. Stay out unless needed. Knock first. <laughs> Does EG plan to go back to Distro Delves? You know what? I think I do. That was pretty fun. I have to admit, that was pretty enjoyable to do that. I don't know what I don't know what's going on. I I was uh just like last week, I was feeling really inspired, and I was like, you know, I'm going to try making a Distro Delves video. And I did. And I thought it was pretty fun. You guys seem to have enjoyed it. I got some COD. You can run everything you need on Linux, instead of, uh, including Substance Painter and Blender. You just need some Unreal 4 and 5. Minecraft runs better on Linux compared to Windows. Is that, is that right? Is this Windows It's Windows 11 GUI? I don't think so. What are these? I've never seen this block before. Weird. All right, Mr. Polar Bear. So Minecraft runs good. Can you believe it? We finally got to play it. All right, so... Oh my god, you have to install NPM separately? It's weird. Look at all this stuff it's bringing in. Holy smokes. Just for NPM? You want to use Godot, but you're obsessed with Unreal. Godot is really freaking cool, though. NPM install. So, is this a programming stream? No, this is a, a game that I wrote. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for cheering and clapping. What's next? I've got a, I got a couple songs left. You know, guys, when the music is over, the stream's over. 
So uh, Jumper is a game that I wrote a while ago with Node, and it was originally like um, drop into a browser or use Firefox to call a web page or something like that, but uh, I made it so that it runs in Electron, but it doesn't seem to work anymore. As you can see, this is Electron, and uh, it doesn't seem to be working so good. I don't know if this was an, a recent uh, security update that like maybe I was doing something bad and I broke it, but we can do this and play it from a browser. There you go. This is the, so if you guys, if you guys have ever heard me or seen me talk about doing uh, programming stuff, like uh, going back to programming videos, people ask me to remake this video all the time. I made a video about how to make a phaser JS game. And uh, people want me to make, cause phaser two is, this is based on phaser two. And in Phaser 2 has been deprecated for quite a while. And people want me to make a new one with Phaser 3, but these these tutorial videos are kind of a lot of work to make, and I don't know. What's the goal of the game? Uh, just to collect all the diamonds, I guess. It, it, it's based on their tutorial. And it, it used to have some more features, but I, I trimmed them out to make it as just as simple as possible. I might I might add like a timer so if, if you wanted to see how fast you could do it, like there was supposed to be, like this was supposed to be like a never ending jumper thing. So it just goes up and like forever, but I didn't want to code all of that. So that's one game. And then the other game is not jumper it's zombie run and i threw this together kind of quickly i th this is this was one of the very first games i wrote but the the repository was a bit of a mess and i had to actually go back and get an old commit to like revive it and i created a new repo and stuff but uh it's very simple and it's also like really badly written Oh, we don't have Ruby. Oh, that's right. I've got to compile it. Uh, I mean, we can do it. You guys want, want to compile some stuff? It's going to be hard to get all this stuff. We need OpenAL, SDL2, font config, I think. We'll see. I'd really like to get... Do we have gems? Okay. Okay, it fails immediately, and we need open AL. I need to write a, a script that just gets all of this for us. I don't, I don't really want to try to find all the development libs for this. So that's one. And all the crap it's going to install. Godot is excellent for 2D stuff. I really enjoyed Godot. I'd make a good GNOME developer because I'm good at removing stuff. I love removing code. The best code is no code at all. You can't have bugs if there's no code, right? Same audio error. Like that. There you go. Try again. Getting further this time. It's probably going to blow up on the fonts. I, I, you know what? Let's just go to the Gosu page. And they probably already have all the commands ready to go. Gosu, Gosu is a very lightweight game library for Ruby, if you were wondering. Uh, when I wrote this, other this this was like the only good Ruby game library. Now there's a couple others that are really good. 
It's also you can also code with it and just raw C++, but I don't know why you why on earth you would do that. <laughs> so you're some sort of psychopath. There you go. All right, let's see how far this thing goes. Wait till you see this game. We're gonna spend more time compiling it than we are playing it. There it is. Yep, told you it would blow up on the fonts. You check out some old YouTube vids? Like my YouTube vids? They're pretty rough. My old ones are pretty, pretty nasty. But... C++ is one of the few languages that made you cry. Yeah, I, I tried to do a project in C++ and Qt, and it was just awful. I, there's a lot of people in the in the Linux and open source community ask about UI toolkits and stuff, and they're like, you know, why don't they just use Qt or whatever? It's like, you, you need to try using Qt yourself, and you will understand why, like, two desktops out of all of them use Qt. Everybody else uses GTK because it is a million times easier to use. Here's to us. Here's to us. That's right. And that's about all the copyrighted music I have available for you guys. We're going to play some down tempo, some chill. Super chill beats. What's EG's favorite programming language? I don't know if I have one. I really enjoy coding in Ruby. I'm not very good at it though. At this point, I'm probably I I don't I don't I don't have one. I'll code in whatever. Actually, you know it's since you bring that up, this month, July, as of this month, I have coded professionally more with Python than Node. I have finally, I have finally passed that mark. Professionally, I have, oh, oh God. Now you might think that since the character that I'm controlling has a gun that I would be able to shoot. However, if that's what you think, you would be wrong. Because I did not code that. <laughs> this is about as far as I got with the game. And, and I want to point out that this was really difficult to figure out without, like, docs or anything. Yeah, the gun is jammed. Oh, no. But having, having uh, that sprite follow the player requires a little bit of pathing basically anyway and uh, a try I, you guys want to see what the code looks like i don't even remember i haven't looked at this code in a long time is it under zombie is it logic in there warp accelerate initialize draw yeah okay yeah his angle and his distance is based on basically where the player is but trying to figure out all of this and put it together in a way that makes sense was really challenging. You have a constant speed no matter if you go forwards or backwards. Well, I mean, let's change that. Where's the speed at? No, actually, backwards is a little bit slower. There, we'll make it go really slow. Oh, no! This reminds you of Pixel. What do you guys think? Should I get back into this game and like rewrite it so that it's actually like a game? It might be fun for distro delves. See what it takes for ever, for each distro to compile a, a C Ruby extension. Anyways, somebody asked me about coding. I've I've coded in. Uh, Am I a furry? I mean, look at the PFP. Also, look at the the skeptical EG. <laughs> the whole thing just broke. Uh, I have professionally, I've coded in Python, Bash, C Sharp, Node, PowerShell. I've never coded... Per well, no, I have, actually. I have used Ruby professionally. We had a project at this uh, other company I worked at, and we needed to write mobile UI tests. And the only uh, 
it was cucumber calab calabash cucumber. I don't even remember what it was called, but it was based on ruby cucumber. If you guys have ever cubcumber, <laughs> you code in HTML. There you go. I don't know if there's any developers or testers in chat. You just love furries. Yeah, it's good. You you certainly don't have to be a furry to enjoy the the art and everything. Doesn't even Yeah, I really like this PFP because it, it reminds me of like 90s cartoons. When I when I first saw the the um, sketch of it, I was like, that looks kind of like Rocco's Modern Life. And I didn't tell her to do it that way. She just like did it that way. I gave her a ref of what I wanted the pose that I wanted EG to be making, and I was like, "Here you go." And then that's what she made. Awesome. She's like, she's like one of my favorite artists too. She's really cool. You're a dev. You've been having a blast with Golang. Golang, I have used a tiny bit, but I haven't done anything professionally with it. I wish I had, but I haven't. Scenario. Eating a few is no problem. She eats three cucumbers then she will be full. This is called behavior driven development. I actually gave a, a talk about behavior driven development. I have a little um, award from it. Back when I did that sort of stuff. Not anymore. Well, if I can't, what do we do now? I think we're about, we've run out of stuff. Let's, let's, let's check the old checklist, shall we? Uh, yeah. I think we're about at the end, folks. I'd love to show you guys a Steam thing, but when I launch Steam, this happens. Can I even type? What is this? Oh, that's create an account. I see. I, hmm. I have an idea. I don't think that this will work, but we'll get, well, no, this can't work. I can't access. I was going to try it with flat pack, but I can't access mounts with, like I'd have to use flat seal and this is a lot of tr trouble. Am I going to play Doki Doki Literature Club someday? I am. I'm going to play it next Tuesday and Wednesday. Wait a second. Yeah. I'm going to be playing it the 6th and the 7th on Twitch. So if you want to watch me play it, you can go over there. <laughs> Doug, you love Proton Mail. Cucumber is just pure water, so that's not necessarily true. All right. Well, folks... Pseudo Apton. Oh, yeah, let's, let's give that a try. Pseudo Pseudo. Let's do it. Guess you better make a Twitch account. I mean, you, I don't think that you have to have Twitch to watch me over there. You could just, like, um, go to my channel and then bookmark it. That way you don't have to log in. Check me out. You know what, I, I'm in the mood for Memorex Mellet Memories. That's who we're gonna listen to. It's probably my favorite artist in this genre. No, Dan Mason is pretty good too though. Once upon a time. I like this song in particular. Pseudo apt reboot, no. That'll screw, that'll kill everything. No, that didn't work. Got to take off. You're glad you found that channel, look, this channel? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm glad that you enjoyed the stream, and I look forward to seeing you again, if you so choose. Let's try another install. Why not? Now that Reed is here. Oh man, I like this song. Pseudo app nuke and repave. Wait. 
Should we try the custom install again? Let's do it. What do we got to lose? So what do we have here? Why are there two fat 32s? Yep. That's the recovery, I bet. Pseudo apt make me a sandwich. Try a BIOS install. One is supposed to be. Yeah, let's try a BIOS install. Does Will Pop support that? Watch it works this time. I'd be pissed. If this actually worked, I would be very, very annoyed. Let's not install, let's do search. <laughs> you can barely hear the music. Me too. I can't hear it so good either. There we go. Now it's coming back. What are we doing? G parted. That's what we want. Oh my God. Doesn't Pop OS need EFI? Yeah, I think it does. That's the thing. So let's hose this out. Or I don't know. How? Ah. What should we do? Let's just try a base install, and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Maybe go G parted, set it to GPT. I I did that. We did it at the beginning. We we changed the um, we ensured that the partition table was the one that it was expecting. <clears throat> oh, we definitely don't want to format that. I'd be pissed. All my games are on there. I had games I wanted to show you guys. I was going to install KDE on there. Pop OS does not work with e UEFI. Is that right? I forgot about the stars. It's going to be hard to burn down the live ISO, huh? A live session? <laughs> we might just end it. You disabled legacy boot in the BIOS? No, Pop doesn't do Snap. You used Pop with Cinnamon. How did you get Cinnamon on Pop OS? Johan, you don't like KDE? I've gone back and forth with KDE so many times. I really want to like it, but best way to manage NVIDIA drivers on Debian based systems. I don't know. Ubuntu has an installer for it. Pop OS has an installer for it. I don't know if Debian proper does though. Oh man, this is a really bad, bad, bad OS. I, I don't know if it's a bad OS. It just, if it doesn't like your hardware, then you're SOL. Nothing you can do to get it working. It seems. I got it working one single time, and I foolishly assumed that I'd be able to get it working again. Is System D better than Grub? I think they're just different. Solus uses System D boot. Nothing boots or shuts down as fast as Solus. Not even Windows. Like Windows has really fast startup and stuff. Solus is even faster somehow. It's crazy. And Solus uses System D boot. Dim gray cave fish. You've been on Debi Debian base for seven years. You miss Lilo. You know, I you know something I didn't check. Was there an update for the installer in here? I wonder if they hot fixed the installer. 
It's only going to take a second to reinstall. Oh wow, you actually can't exit out of this. Oh yeah, you can. I'm going to update, do a full update, and then and then I'm going to try installing again. Do it, hit the showers, come back tomorrow, and connect it to a 49-inch curved widescreen. So you read, uh, read, you missed out when people were talking about San Andreas. I was like, oh, Reed plays that. Time for you to go to sleep. Well, it was great having you, Monster Hunter Lancer. It's good having you in chat. <laughs> yeah, and that is a weird topic to just come up. Somebody, I think somebody said that they were still playing San Andreas multiplayer. Considering the use of Fedora, but yeah, yeah, DNF is weird. You type in DNF install whatever, and it just hangs for a couple seconds, and then it it, you know, like shows you the search or something. I don't understand why it's so slow. I th I always thought it was the mirrors. You, you, you missed the chance to talk about the 20 ballas just turning you into Swiss cheese because you tried to take a sidewalk from them. Steam devices, what the hell? Oh, this is really, whoa, this is really cool. Pac-Man is a beast. Hey, do you guys like Pac-Man? Pat. How many times per month do you want to install something? Pseudo DNF install Emacs. I will not restart my system. Get out of here. Shoot. Oops. All right. Let's try the install one last time. And this is it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then nothing new. Oh, you like Yay. Is Yay better than Pac-Man? Doug is saying that Pac-Man is garbage. Nathan is saying Pac-Man is bad in terms of versatility. You can add more repos and but can you add like the AUR in there? I think that it's about that. Pac-Man is seemingly the weirdest one until you learn it. Yeah, that's true. If you're going from like a Debian-based distro or something over to Arch, then Pac-Man is really strange. <clears throat> but once you figure out all of the, the flags and stuff, it's awesome. Was that the right drive? Oh god, El Snarko, don't, an don't ask questions like that. <laughs> I hope it was. Otherwise, I'm, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> it took almost a full day to download all of the games that I, I wanted to put on there. And I can't even show you guys. Hey, Spin Viking. Happy 4th, thank you. I appreciate that. If you're in the States, happy 4th to you as well. And isn't Canada's special day July 7th or something like that? Curious to see how many fireworks are set off over here. It's they're, uh, the county banned it because of the heat and dryness. Zipper is kind of weird. Yeah, zipper is a little weird, but... Oh, July 1st. You're a time traveler. A time traveling raccoon. Has Canada melted yet? Uh, there was There was a town that was completely scorched by the fires that happened up there is this stupid heat wave 
Sol the Solomon Islands Independence Day is on the 7th. Oh, okay. Your birthday is on the 7th. Hey, it's right around the corner. Happy birthday. All right, here we go. Let me put on a song to go out on. Oh, I need a stupid custom order. I don't know why it does that. All right. Oh, did it lock up? It sure did. Hello, hope you're having a great time. Just want to say you love my music choices sometimes. Not all the time. Can't satisfy everybody. Ended up being louder than I thought. It looks like my BIOS locked up. Sorry, I'm hitting the microphone. The record high was 121. That's crazy. All right. Let's see what happens, folks. Nope. Did not work. And that's it, folks. Did it lock up, too? It did. All right. That's it. This is a fantastic place to leave the Pop! OS stream. Oh yeah, that was, I forgot to mention, I, I verified all the checksums. I tried the Intel and NVIDIA ISOs, both of them checked out. Everything, man. It's, nothing worked. I hope that you guys enjoyed this stream. And I look forward to, what happened? Oh, is it booting in? How cool would that be? Oh, what is happening? Nope, okay, it, it rebooted on its own. Are we just stuck in a boot loop now? Okay, all right, this, this is a good place to leave it. Yeah, we're stuck in a boot loop now. I'm a loser, baby. I'm a loser, baby. I need to sing on stream again, huh? It's been quite a while. Well, I will see you guys next weekend. There probably won't be a Distro Delves next, like a actual video Distro Delves, AMD or Intel. I'm on, I'm on AMD here. But uh, oh, here we go. Now we're back to the live USB, so this is no further. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do an open EG video this week, and then next week I'll probably do another Distro Delves video. And this Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch, Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, next Distro Delve stream is probably going to be the first official usage of the Janko meter that we talked about. And uh, if you want to see my art and commissions that I get, I'm on Fur Affinity now. I decided to finally get one set up. And that's it. So, yeah, we're going to wrap it up here. Sorry we weren't able to install Pop! OS. I did my absolute best. It was apparently not good enough, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.